We are here with our friends at Zenith. I mean, look, Time and Tide, we're known to be big fans of the brand. In fact, we had our limited edition Night Surfer watch. Quite successful. I think it did pretty well, 100 pieces now gone. But you know what? The day five already had its moment. LVMH watch week, we're past that. A lot to love there. However, there was it also is. a lot to love when the Chronomaster Sport debuted. And now Zenith is doubling down on the Chronomaster line. So digging into the Chronomaster Sport, we now have two tone models, steel and rose gold, mm -hmm. as well as full pink gold models. Now these models do not utilize ceramic bezels. They use precious metal bezels, okay? But here's the twist. The pink gold or rose gold, it's, it is cap gold. Now, that might deter some, however, it does mitigate costs. So it keeps things approachable in price, proportional to what the watch is. There's a lot of value involved with these watches. Mm -hmm. But the full rose gold model, it is all rose gold, solid rose gold links, okay? We have silver dial for the steel and rose gold, and we have white and black for the rose gold uh, duo. A lot to love there, but there's more. Yeah, we're kind of gonna go away from the sport and now we're gonna go to the open. So first thing we'll see there, a little decrease in size, where with the Chronomaster Sport, size was coming in about 41 millimeters. Yes. Now we have the Chronomaster Open, which is 39 and a half millimeters. It has this beautiful Hesalite open area of the dial for you to see the inner workings of the movement, which is of course. The legendary El Primero 3600. Look. The one tenth of a second capabilities, the high beat. There's a lot to love with this caliber. So look, it's nice to see it from the back, but why not see it from the front as well? Indeed. We're loving the size, the kind of trim down, the one and a half millimeters. Should be a really nice daily driver, really nice looking watch. But one thing that was interesting to see, even though it came out, I'd say about a few months, few weeks back. Yeah, it was back in February. It was sort of an under the radar announcement, but now we've made it Facebook official. No, I'm kidding. But it, it's an official <laughs> release now. Look, it's already hard enough to produce a ceramic bezel, especially one where there's no, it's not a ceramic insert, it is a full ceramic bezel. But what if it wasn't just one color? What if it was three? Oh yeah, beautiful tri-color bezel. Even mm -hmm. though he's filming us, our camera guy, Marcus, will tell you how difficult it is to film that beautiful tri-color yes. bezel. But it's such a beautiful thing to see in person. It, it really goes with the sub-dials of the watch it kind of expands that that color outwards and i loved seeing that watch in person yeah, it's such a distinct design element that zenith has the tricolor registers so to have the bezel match it's a very complicated effort on their part but i think it pays off yeah 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 i mean it, it's a boutique edition for a reason yes uh if you have an opportunity if there are any more of them out there definitely yeah. stop by your nearest zenith boutique try to get some hands on time, or at least see this thing, because it's just beautiful. If you want to be the talk of the Red Bar meetup or other watch meetup, yeah, that's a watch you want to have on your wrist. That's really the collection for this year. Um, we love all the references that they showed us. Yeah. But guys, that's Zenith. Yeah. And we're headed on out. We're going to high beat out of here.